I truly don't know how this video is going to go. If you know me, hey, it's been a while. If you don't, it's nice to meet you. You read the title correctly. I, uh, I've been retired, I think, since I was about 26. And it's simply because I, like, my provision, the way I provide for myself is solely dependent on God. I am, I am, I am so dependent on him. Like, I follow Jesus Christ, like, with all of my heart. And I'm so dependent on him. And I cannot take absolutely any credit for any finances that I've ever, that I've ever showed up in my bank account. Before we begin, you need some context, okay? Um, so yes, my name's Edgar, Edgar Sandoval Jr. I'm a songwriter. Um, I started r making EDM music in college, would make rap music, would make a YouTube channel helping people get streams, um, would later join TikTok in 2019, would go viral on TikTok, would later have a viral song um, under an alias, Music with Edgar, that got more streams, so all the all these all the things, uh, and even before I did music in college, I lived in LA. Like I I got history, okay, that you don't know about, but that's okay. Um, I have been retired, like I said, since I was twenty six, and following God's will for your life can be confusing. At times, because you go through seasons of complete uncertainty and you don't know where your next meal is going to come from. Now, there's something to be said about working a job and working a normal nine to five. Um, so God's never really wanted me to go that route um, because he's wanted me to, to have the flexibility and time to just serve him. Um, and I understand that's not the situation for everyone, but if, if you trust the process, he will get you there. Um, he will put you in a place where you can do his will. But that's another conversation. Um, so I've been retired since I was like 25, 26. God blessed my wife and I with a platinum song back in 2020 when we were, um, we were, about to get married, we're about to move to to Nashville, all the things, and, and I was looking for jobs, and she was working at a coffee shop, and long story short, um, dang, I'm sorry, I haven't been looking at the camera, um, I haven't had much to do over the past few years. The thing I've done the most in, over the past three years is spend time with Jesus. I'm being completely honest. I've had all the time in the world just to spend time with Jesus. Now, if tomorrow God took everything away and I needed to go work as a dishwasher um, or go work at McDonald's, I would do it. I would do it with my head held high because I know where my provision comes from, and it's the Lord. Um, I, also, I also try not to think too highly of myself because I'm nothing. You're nothing. We're nothing. We were created. Uh, should I get the I'll get to TikTok now. So, uh, one day, I heard people were making bank doing TikTok shops. So, what did I do? Well, I got curious. And um, I've been writing music for a while. I, I have an artist project. I make Christian music under the alias Vision of Leo. I don't really know what it is. I just kind of made it. And um, and I got curious, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to give this until December. I'm going to work my butt off until December. And I'm going to make TikTok shop videos. I haven't used my TikTok account in three years, so I'm just going to go for it. Boy, did my followers turn on me. So like I said, I told you guys I went viral on, on TikTok like back in 2019, 2020. Had a viral song, um, whatever. When you go viral on the internet, other people, they associate that thing to you for the rest of your life. 
And so you as an individual could grow. You could turn 30 years old. You could have five kids. You could be a grandpa. But that thing that you did that you were viral for is attached to you for life. I think that kind of sucks because we all grow as humans. But regardless, I was known for those viral videos. Well, when I started these shop videos, I got comments, bro. Okay. Comments were, bro fell off. Bills must not be this high. Classic troll comments, you know. They're really great. But I needed to ignore them if I was going to really dedicate myself to doing TikTok shop and seeing. So I'm just curious. Did I need the extra money from TikTok shop? I did not. No. Um, my bills are completely paid. I'm good. I'm okay. You know, because of God. Um, he takes care of me and he takes care of you. But I didn't need it. I just wanted to try it. Well, all my followers turned on me. And I can't blame them, you know? <laughs> like, I made content on me that was music-focused. Now I'm selling them a flashlight. Of course they're going to unfollow. <laughs> of course. Like, I can't blame them for that. Um, but that that was really actually very hard. See, my goal was um, to, to achieve a goal. <laughs> I didn't have a set amount of money I wanted to make. I didn't. I just got curious. And... I remember making my first $100 um, and I didn't need the $100, but it was the feeling of achieving a goal that felt so good um, because I hadn't really achieved a goal in a few years. Like I said, we've kind of been retired for a while. I use that word loosely, just not needing to work, okay? And well, I guess maybe I'll play the video of, um, I'll play the video right now of, of me celebrating making a hundred dollars. This is insane. Starting tick I started TikTok shop two two weeks ago. Today. Three thousand in total sales, 187 commission, and it's 5 p.m. It'll be my first two hundred dollar day. Two hundred dollars a day for making a TikTok. A TikTok. My music, my personal music that I've been working at for 10 years has never made me this much in a day. Spotify and royalties don't pay anything. Look up, Google how much Spotify pays musicians like me. Nothing, nothing. I post a few videos on TikTok. I get all the hate in the world in the comments. More engagement, more views, million views. People buy the product. I get a commission all from the comfort of my house. My music, has never done anything like, I've never experienced 200 bucks in a day from literally being on social media. Who's calling? Is someone calling? You? See how excited I am? That's the feeling when you set a goal and you achieve it. And when I achieved that goal, my first hundred dollars in commission that I ever made, all of a sudden it didn't matter what people thought about me. It really didn't. Now, people were saying really, really mean and hurtful things. Um, People thought I was panhandling for money and and all the things that come with, with being attributed to, to doing TikTok shop. Um, I didn't know it was that degrading of a career choice. I'm pretty sure there are worse choices. Um, but I guess the context that people don't know is that I just wanted to achieve something. I wanted to, to do it. Um, so... <laughs> October 31st rolls around, Halloween 2024. It's November 8th now. And I see my total earnings for that month. And I made a total of $80,000. And my profit was about 6K. 6K. It was insane. Really insane. And I almost, I guess I wanted to see also if I, I, if I applied myself again to content, if I can make it work. Um, I wanted a challenge again. It's been a while since I had like a challenge, you know. Um, and I did it. I said I was going to give myself to December, but <laughs> I made six grand. And I'm like, you know what? That's pretty cool. I did it. I proved to myself that I could do it. Um, but it also, it came also with, with now people thinking that 
um, well, that I, I don't know, I guess I'm just not doing too well. Um, I was losing about a thousand followers a day and thank God that I don't get my identity from my followers or how much money is in the bank account or how many views you got. Thank God. And, and there are days where, where, um, you know, my flesh flares up and it's telling me like, oh, you're not valued enough because you're not, you're not successful in the world's eyes right now, or you're not achieving something. Like there are times where my flesh flares up and, and I have to remind myself that my identity is in being a child of God and I'm a son of God. Um, and that he just loves me just the way I am, whether I achieve something or not. But I guess part of me deep down wanted to, I guess, prove to myself that I'm not like a like a fluke. Like I'm not like a one hit viral video fluke. Or that I could I wanted to prove that I could make something go viral again, you know? So I posted 430 TikToks on a, on a on an account with a million followers. Bro, that's going to make people turn on you. Well, mid by mid October, I'm getting emails from TikTok saying, "Wow, you're doing great. They're setting up meetings with me and they're wanting me to become like a, a star creator on the shop program, which I'm not trying to do all that. That's a little extra. Um, but the people turned on me. And I guess I'm making this video to process out loud and also to share that People don't really care about you. Like, it sounds a little dark, but the only person that cares about you is Jesus. He's the only one that cares about you. And I think I felt the love of Jesus the most when I was doing TikTok shop videos, when people were mocking me doing that. I felt the love of Jesus the most in that time than I ever have ever being like successful, like in the world's eyes. Um back in 2019, 2020. So it's kind of weird. I just wanted to share that with you, that that if you really build your identity off of people's uh, success, then the mo they will turn on you, and that will absolutely destroy you if, if you don't have, um, number one, if you're not strong mentally uh, and also strong in your identity in Christ. Like if, if you don't know, 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 know without a doubt that Jesus loves you so much, like that you're so loved and that he's so obsessed with you and that you have a real revelation of Jesus. Like, like, bro, I was having throughout TikTok shop, I was getting such mean comments. I had to like pause and be like, man, I'm trying to achieve this. It's actually crazy that all I was trying to do was achieve a goal. And the devil literally like came from my mind. He really came from my mind through some of these comments. They were horrid, 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 horrid comments. And the devil really came from my mind and I really had to sit down as I was trying to achieve this goal by myself, um, not for anyone to be, just this goal, uh, to just make content again and see if, I can, if it can get numbers. It did, 16 million views. 16 million views, dude. In my first month, like I was going to give myself to December before I even looked at the results, but by the end we had 16 million views and I was just like, dang, okay. Just want to make sure I still got it. <laughs> it kind of, it was kind of like that. But the enemy really hated that that I was becoming aware of my gifts for content creation and 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 making videos and gaining confidence. Like I feel like the devil saw me gain confidence again and go out and achieve something, and he really wanted to shut down my confidence. And I remember I was on the floor. This sounds so crazy, but it's crazy. It's just it is crazy doing TikTok shop, wild. I was on the floor praying to Jesus. And I, I said, Jesus, I need to see you. And I, I saw in my mind, like in my imagination, some people call it your mind's eye. It's not your third eye. That ish is demonic. Um, but in my mind, in my imagination, right? I saw Jesus grab me, like pull me in, like by the shirt, just like, whoosh, like pull me and like aggressive, like just hug and like hold me. And it brought me to tears. And that is what kept me posting do and doing TikTok shop videos for the rest of that month. While I'm, while I'm absolutely getting flamed in the comments, like 
I'm embarrassing myself in front of who knows who. Like I know my family seeing that. I know I have friends seeing me do TikTok shop. Friends are even texting me like on the side, like, bro, how much did you make doing TikTok shop? My second week doing it. Like I had influential people like that followed that account. So it was to the world, it could be, you, you're kind of embarrassing yourself doing TikTok shop, especially if you're already like of some sort of influence. But I, I, I say that to say, like, I, I sat down, Jesus, I saw him wrap me, wrap his arms around me, and it brought me to tears. And and he just, that hug was, it gave me all the identity that I ever needed. Um, And so, do I have a passion for TikTok shop? No. Oh my gosh, no. Did I want to prove myself, prove to myself that I could achieve something if I really set my mind and and do it. Yeah. Yeah, I did. My wife will tell you the same thing. Um, so it's been a while since I truly sat down and I said, I wanted, I want to apply myself to this specific goal. Um, but I did. And it was the best feeling ever. And I would inspire, I, I would hope to inspire some of you to, if you, if you have a goal, um, set one, it's really good. It'll take you through a roller coaster of, of emotions, and the devil will probably attack you on, on your way to said goal. Um, and it's in those moments where you'll actually have to go back, find Jesus, spend time with him where he speaks life into you as you go and achieve a goal. And that's, I don't know, I guess that's something I've learned is like, you know, when I set goals, pursue them with Jesus. Um, I have no intention truly of, um, trying to get rich off a TikTok shop. Now I know there's a lot of people that have made way more than me and kudos to them and that's their full-time thing. And they want to do that for the rest of their life. Not me. I'm a musician. I make music and, um, and I love people. I just love y'all. You watching this, I just love you and I want to be your friend. And I want you to be Jesus's friend too. Um, Jesus is the best. So, yeah.